Can't go without my Joe. All right. All right, it's time again. It's that one time of the year that maybe it's a anniversary, maybe it's a wedding, but you gotta go to that one special occasion. Now, for the most part, I know all my gentlemen out there, we already know the idea of man basics, what it takes. But when you go out, she's asking, she's telling you, I wanna go to a nice place. I wanna go out. So what do you gotta do? It's time to put that tie on. Tie? I don't wear ties. What do I need to do? Help me. Your boy got you. So we're gonna be covering the three main knots that every man should have in his arsenal. You got the full Windsor or the double Windsor, the half Windsor, and the foreign hand. And I'm here to show you all three. So let's get ready. Let's start with the full Windsor. Now the full Windsor, you know, it has its place. A little old school at times, but it still has its place. The full Windsor, once again, hold on, let me make sure my stuff is right. Man, that, that shirt. <laughs> With that tie. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But anyway, the full Windsor, it's a nice knot. Not as versatile as the other ones, but it's a much wider knot. So what it's used for is like this particular collar that I'm putting on right now that I'm showing you. It's a little bit of a spread tab. It's got a, a fuller collar on it. So when you have a wide spread collar, that's when the full Windsor really comes out. That's when it shines. So what you want to do along with the picture of course I'm gonna actually show it to you show you how it's done so you'll see it actually being done and not just staring at a picture man I'm look do you see this combo <laughs> man okay alright so what you do with that full Windsor now make sure when you get that wide side of the top make sure you get some extra length on that bad boy because with the full Windsor it's gonna require a little bit more material and the tie gentlemen the tie should never go below the belt buckle in fact, it should just touch at the top of the belt or even an inch up, always. Other than that, you look sloppy and we ain't trying to do that. Not on this channel anyway. All right, so now you bring it around. Take that wide side, bring it around. You come over the top from the back side, bring it down. That gives you your first half. Now you're gonna come back around and swing it back over the top. And now that gives you, uh, now, now see how you got that V going right there? Now you come all the way across, around from the back, and come over the top. Now, now you've got your loop. Now you pull that out just a little bit, give yourself some room, and you tuck that wide part down in there. Straighten it out, pull it down from the top. Now we're gonna cover that dimple. See that dimple? The dimple. The dimple is what sets the tie off at the end. That's what gives it that, that sense that I know what I'm doing. So you hold on to that back side. You take that knot and you go ahead and shimmy that bad boy into place. Now, yeah, yeah, that's looking, yeah, that's just about right. See now, see how you get that V? That's the full Windsor, that's the effect you want. And when you pop that collar down, working with here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, that's about right right there. Now see how you got the you got the spread collar, but that that knot how it takes up that full collar, how that looks, that's what you want. Tie number one. Okay. Now we have knot number two, the half Windsor. Now you don't need as much length on the half Windsor as you would on the full Windsor. And this is probably the most versatile of all the knots. Very nice. You can use it for wider collars, narrow collars, pretty much. Keep that in mind. So here we go. So you take that wide side as we did before and you bring it over the top. Now you bring it around the back side. Now you tuck it. 
you got that V. Not the double V, but now you got that V. And you bring it around. And you come back through the back across the top. Now you pull that knot, you pull that little knot out that you made. You pull that out, you tuck it down in there, and once again, there you go. You squeeze that boy up into place. Now you can create that dimple that by making a little crease in the in the fat part of the tie and cinching it up. Now you got that dip. Yeah, you got that dimple. Now, same thing. Now you can see the difference. You bring that down. Yeah. So you don't get that huge fullness, but you, yet even on the half collar, even on a wide collar, you still looking right. You still, when you go out with your honey, you go out with your girl, go out with your wife, you still looking good. Still got it right. So there it is, gentlemen. The half Windsor. Knot number three, the forehand. Now this is probably the easiest of all the knots, but yet not the most versatile, but very simple. You on the go, you wanna knock it out, but this particular knot is probably not best used with this particular collar that I'm using, but it's probably used because it's a wide collar. This particular knot is much better with a narrow tab, a narrow collar, fits very nicely into place. So I'll show you this, very simple. You take the wide side to go over the narrow. All you do is wrap around once. You come back around again. And now you just come over the top. Don't need a lot of material. It's super simple. You slide it down. And hold on to that knot. You pull that back side and slide it into place. That's pretty much it. You bring it down, get that collar right. Okay, there it is. Boom, that's it. That's it, gentlemen. Very simple, very easy. Now, as you can see, because of having a spread collar, how you don't fill that area up a little bit, and you see a little bit of that on the side, some people don't mind that, that's okay. I don't use the foreign hand very often. It is a quick knot though, it's simple, it's easy. You, you run it, you good. There it is, gentlemen. The three most effective ties that you need in your arsenal. The full Windsor, the half Windsor, and the foreign hand. I'll be coming with another video to cover one more tie. One is dear to me. A little hard to tie, but once you get it down, it's a, it's a very elegant piece to add to your arsenal, and that is the bow tie. For those that know me, they know I love the bow. So we'll show a video on that. But for right now, there you go. If you like what you saw, please subscribe below. Have any comments, make sure you leave them. Get back with me, and as always, with the many things that I will be presenting on this channel, if you ever lose your way, I'll point you in the right direction.